Hi guys, today I want to show you how to build a system like this. Actually, this is pretty simplified, but uh, just you can change the character, you can change the clothes, you can change the pants, which is uh, essentially it's just the changing of some materials. If you want to change the whole mesh itself, you have to build the mesh based on the skeletal mesh that you are using and uh, uh, actually, I'm using uh, MetaHumans in Unreal Engine 4. So MetaHumans, they have some skeletal mesh, which the whole mesh is based on this skeletal mesh. But the thing is that uh, the meshes are not the same. They changes. They they are different. You know this uh, mesh that I'm having here, the skeletal mesh. I mean, not the mesh itself. The skeletal mesh is n underscore med underscore nrw body. Uh, but in here it's just something else. So this might be a little pro bit of a problem uh, because you want to change the character, and uh, you know this this is really confusing. So I'm gonna cut to the chase and I'm gonna explain it all because you know this uh, thing is more of a concept. More you know you have to understand it all, and then uh, you know executing all the codes and building all the systems not that difficult so let me explain it all uh first of all we have a skeletal mesh and we have all the animations you know actually i don't have the uh animation blueprint here i'm just using an animation asset it really doesn't matter but you, if you want to use uh, an animation blueprint you have to keep all the skeletal meshes uh similar to each other so if you want to uh, change some mesh based on your skeletal mesh you won't have any issue with your animations but if you're changing your skeletal mesh you have to change the animation blueprint as well which is kind of a pain i won't ever suggest this one to you if you're building a complex uh, character customization or character creation system you need to somehow build the animation blueprint and the skeletal meshes together that you uh, kind of have a system that you can actually change and uh, not encounter with any further issues you know what I mean so what I, I suggest is that just use a similar skeletal mesh and build all of your meshes upon that uh, skeletal mesh if you're using a uh, uh, real illusion eye clone if you're using mixemo just make sure that you have all the skeletal meshes uh, similar to each other and it will applies to the uh, metahuman itself just make sure that all the skeletal meshes are the same in this case i'm not using some other animations actually and in this case uh, surprisingly i've just uh we targeted a uh, an animation from the third person uh, example itself and it really works just fine i don't have any issue with it as you can see and i'm just using this simple animation for both of my assets and i'm not changing it so i guess it's working just fine with the metahuman but not about mixemo or any other uh actually character creation or animation creation tools out there so what what i did was that uh you have some hot actually you need to just right click uh there's something user interface create a widget blueprint which i already did and create some buttons buttons and just drag them in and uh what you will have in here you can just I uh, create a text in it to drag it in as simple as that just and after that just click uh, you have a, a lot of options here which I really didn't get into that much uh, I just lowered a little bit of the opacity and stuff but you have a lot of options such as you can actually put an image in it and you can be, be so creative it really uh, wasn't the case for me so the one thing that I wanted to change after that is just I uh, click on press and you will have an event here created for you and uh, 
I'm not using the third person character because I'm just I didn't really feel like it to build a uh, new third person character or migrate the meta human asset to the third, per third person character. Uh, actually, this is not it. To the third person character itself. Let me show you. Because you know, migrating it is not really hard. It's just a copy and paste, but the thing that you have to consider is that there are some construction scripts that you have to copy and paste all of that. And there's an event begin play, which I didn't use, just this construction script. Just make sure if you're migrating the metahuman character to the third person uh, character, just make sure that you have all the assets copied into the same uh, character that you're using. I didn't feel like it, so I'm just using the I've uh, invisible anything and uh, I'm just using the camera. It's actually a cinema camera for uh, you know better quality. So uh, after that, I'm uh, you know I'm, I've created everything in my BP HANA. So for uh, accessing it in the HUD, you have to go to get actor of class. You know there are two. Uh, of these nodes one is uh, get actor of class and one is get all actors of class you know get actor of class is like a normal general way to access it which i used but uh get all actors of class will give you an array of all the actors that are in the field or that are being used you know and you can simply choose between them i went with i get actor of class and uh, there's an event I created in my BP HANA and I put that out. I'm using that, which will come to here. So the changing character is actually this is uh, I'm using flip flop look because the, uh, uh, the code is simply uh, so simplified. So I don't want to really make it more confusing. Uh, I'm just flip flop is like. Uh, once it goes to the A, once it goes to the B, and same goes afterwards. Uh, so the first thing I'm doing, you know, uh, you have to... Let me just... Meta humans. So I'm just switching between these two characters here. So uh, if you look at the body here, there's a skeletal mesh. Uh, and you have all the... Uh, ingredients in face hair eyebrows anything that you might need and uh, torso legs and I don't change the feet so you have to change this all together if you want to change the whole character uh, or you can be creative and give the option to the client itself so how I do it is that I'm just changing you know because this uh, character customization system is based on uh, most of the time, uh, it's based on changing the mesh or changing the material or changing the morph targets, which uh, I don't really get into today. I just, I can, if you want me to show, I can show you. Uh, if you have uh, built the morph targets in a third part, party application like uh, Blender 3D Max or Maya, uh, you can have all the morph targets here and you can access those inside the blueprint and it will actually just uh, more blend the character between two positions which is kind of really useful in a character customization system which I'm not getting into it today. So uh, I'm changing all the skeletal mesh. You know, uh, my body for Hana has one skeletal mesh which is here my uh, body for the other one which was bp test has this one which i have to make sure that everything specified and then after that we come to the face there are some uh, skeletal meshes here we have to be specific just make sure to set everything correctly and uh, you know inside the face we have some groom assets hair eyebrows files i don't actually really use files uh, eyelashes, mustache, and beard. Uh, we have to specify all of those. We have to set everything. Uh, uh, unless it will just break. Just let me show you. Just look at it. it, it, it it's so creepy, so bad. So you have to make sure that you have 
set all the groom assets and groom uh, binding asset, which is really important, you know, because uh, binding asset is just, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's just a binding asset for a specific uh, schedule mesh. So you can't use it on another schedule mesh, in, uh, which in our case, uh, the schedule me meshes are different. So we have to use some other assets, some other groom binding assets. So after that, I'm changing the torso, skeletal mesh, legs, skeletal mesh, and uh, the groom asset for eyebrows, uh, eyelashes, as I told you, mustache and beard. Uh, yeah, this is it. So uh, let's go to the changing material. So it's just uh, the way I use it in this case is just uh, I created a, a simple material instance. And uh, if you don't know it, you can go to the material itself and you can use all the parameter values there or you can create some in this case. Oh, dude. John, don't, don't do this with me. Uh, in this case, because we've uh, had all the things created before, uh, we can just use them all. Or we can go through the, all the material creation that all the uh, Epic Games guys have created for us. So I don't really want to do that. Uh, I just created a material instance, right click, create material instance, go into it. Uh, and I just changed a little bit of a diffuse color here. That's all. And, uh, you know, the material in this case, because I'm changing the cloth, is for torso. And we can do the same for pants. Pants is just the legs in here. And you can use the uh, feet instead and use some other materials. Or you can uh, simply change the whole shape, which is basically the, uh, let me show you, basically the skeletal mesh. And this is, you have another option to change the material. A parameter itself which uh, you have to first create material dynamic and set the parameter value from there I just I'm not going to show you I just I gave you some key references to search it on Google because it uh, the video is already too long and I want to make it even longer so uh, this is it for today guys I hope you I hope it helps actually I feel, and if it did just hit that like button and you if you want more just hit that subscribe cheers